hi welcome back to part two i got cut off run out of time so thank you if you are still with me i appreciate you very very grateful for that so i did actually get some messages on dates and i wrote them down and it's quarter past five on the 15th it seems to be repeating numbers that I'm getting. 2.22 on the 16th, like a.m. in the morning. Not been able to hold back any longer. Within the next eight hours. Eight minutes, eight minutes. Blah, 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 blah. Again, they have a lot to say. The, the throat chakra is like... They've been holding them back themselves back for some time. It's like they've been beating themselves up because of what people have told them. And I'm really picking up very strongly some toxic family members here. Okay, if you're lucky enough to have wonderful family members, then I am so happy for you, honestly. But 95% of the time, that isn't the truth, especially around chosen ones. People that have gifts and are light workers, myself, carry, uh, light carriers. Because we irritate the spirits, the demons and other people's energy. Basically, our spirit irritates their demons, so to speak. They want to kind of latch onto that and do their best, anything possibly, to try and destroy it. But ultimately, what they would do is they would just make you stronger. You are more powerful than you think and you need to believe in yourself and know that this is deserving for you. Affirmations, 100%. I'm getting a message, sorry I was late, something come up, I didn't mean to let you down for somebody, I had brought you flowers that you love, I say that and then I get the the traveller, the lonely traveller returning, this person likes to take their time because they've been let down a lot, they've been through a lot, I mean this is like returning from battle, and learning their lessons and see how the weather changes as well in this card. I know it's back to front where it's kind of gloomy and then coming into past just green. And the heart, the chalice represents a love offer, offering the heart. And it's a solid offer. Don't walk away if you're feeling that's your ego that needs feed in. The ego wants to know if, when, why, how you know all that kind of stuff but it's the mind you are not the mind you are pure consciousness okay it's not saying that that kind of behavior is okay if you've been fed in some sort of bs story or blah 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 but the truth is the divine masculine never means to hurt the dm it's because of what is going on internally within you you, have, you be very mindful of your thoughts and the energy you are putting it out because your divine masculine can feel it absolutely 100% so if you're feeling anxiety and unworthy guess what so is your divine masculine gonna feel that I read so many comments about why am I the one doing all the work that's very narcissistic in itself because why wouldn't you want to love the person and do anything you possibly can to help them which does make me have to ask this question are you sure you are on the right journey because Trauma, that sounds more trauma bond to me than a divine counterpart, a, counterpart, a divine counterpart twin flame journey because a true, authentic twin flame journey, you might get a bit angry, but you never. There'd be nothing you wouldn't be willing to do to help. Because if you're overthinking and you're reading and following the wrong people, you will cause yourself pain because there are a lot of fake people out there that aren't twin flames themselves and they label soulmates as twin flames. Just to reiterate this, a dog, a dog can be a soulmate, a tree can be a soulmate. You can have platonic soulmates. You can also attract narcissists and they all get sent into your life again for a reason because there is something within you that needs to be fixed for you to learn to deal with the people-pleasing vibes, you know, wanting to be liked, P 
pick me kind of energy. Who cares if people like you? Be unapologetically and authentically yourself. Shine your light and I tell you what, you will attract the right people because you say no. If someone's overstaying their welcome, tell them to get the fuck out. They've overstayed their welcome, you know, because of the what, what is that doing? It is saying that you are a doormat and you are willing for someone to just basically just walk all over you. And people like that, they get great joy out of that. And I guarantee you, if you listen to the way they speak, trust me. You won't like what you're hearing and you will, if you take a step back from it, understand that the minute that they're not in your presence, they're doing exactly the same about you. That's how it works. True friendships don't do that. Speaking from experience is different if you've been hurt. It's okay to do that, you know? It's okay to feel those feelings. You don't deserve to be treated that way, but forgive them. Pray for them. Pray for these people. You know, they're the ones that are being tormented at night. They absolutely are. They don't get to go around destroying people's lives and living a happy life. It is not how it works. We don't wish bad on people. We let go and we let the divine, God, source, angels, however you resonate. Make peace with it. Don't blame yourself. If there are things that you blame yourself off, wish you could have, should have, would have, could have done things differently. You can't change it. And you acted the way you had to act. Sometimes the beast comes out within us. It has to. You know, so forgive yourself. This is be ready to act on an imminent invitation. This has been in the works for a while. I do feel a few of you have already had some back and forth communication. There are some of you that have still been waiting four to six weeks, if not longer. I'm getting up to four months before Christmas. Some of you, possibly six weeks. You are at that. I'm done stage. But it doesn't feel as though it's uh, I'm done in a kind, I am now releasing this, I love you, but continue to do the work with it. I'm here to tell you, you you're never going to be done with this journey. Once you're on it, you are on it. Um, you can choose to go back to sleep, make bad choices. I mean, this is your life. But once you are strapped into that roller coaster with your roller coaster buddy, there ain't no getting off it. You know, um, so just to let you know and it is so worth it in the long run i promise you and i am going to in the next year start to write some courses and do some workshops on law of attraction and divine counterparts and raising your vibration meditations anything i could do to help so i will link my video which gives details of the lengths of reads that i offer and as I said, spaces are filling up time and I give you my all, 100%. You are not alone on this journey, okay? So this person thinks the world of you and vice versa. Again, don't let the mind of other people get involved because it is not their story. It's not their love story. Anyone who's not cheering you on, they are not your people. Anyone who tries to keep you apart, they are not your people. Love knows no um, age difference cultural background it makes no difference the heart wants what the heart wants and also aging is a myth it's a very limited societal belief where they want people to die sooner it's as simple as that if my video gets ta taken down for saying that so be it but it is the truth this love is extremely abundant and I am hearing the words, I love you, baby. I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner. I've been holding back because of fear of rejection. I've been watching you from afar. And I am coming back for you. I have realised during this time of separation that was needed as much as I long for you every night and every day. I understand now because my spirit guides have been showing me signs and synchronicities. And I am so grateful for that. So, running out of time. Remain positive. Be positive. No, you are not alone on this journey. You can click on the link below. I will add a couple of my videos. Please like, share, subscribe and follow. And drop a comment down below about what's going on in your journey and what resonates um i would love to hear your comments and 